guys on here. Thank you, so much. Thank you so much for coming to Australia. Yeah. Your pleasure. You know, multiple time world champion here. He needs no introduction. Okay, so how's your trip uh, been to Australia? Man, the, you know, good to see you back, you know. <laughs> good to see you getting so big. Hey, champ. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, like it growing up so much, you know? It's been a blessing trip, you know, I've been having a great time. Uh, everybody is very kind, very nice, you know, like uh, the country is amazing. So beautiful, you know, like, uh, so beautiful, like uh, the nature, you know, like the ocean, it's like a great energy, you know, I, I love it, you know, like it's been like my sixth seminar here already, and then I have a great time. Good day, mate. <laughs> Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. So, you know, like you're, uh, you know, a big competitor. And um, what has been like your really, you know, memorable uh, time or car in competition? You know, uh, something that has really impacted your life? Well, um, you know, like I've been competing for a while. It's hard to mention just like one yeah. or like which one was the first one. But I believe like when it impacted my life, that I, that I feel that I accomplished something was when I won the ADCC first time. Because you know, I compete like it took me like uh, 10 years to win. You know, like I compete one ADCC, two ADCC, three ADCC, four, and then the fifth I won. So I think because it was so hard, but I, I, I kept going, and then you know, like I, I didn't give up. And then when it happened, it was an amazing feeling yeah. to accomplish something that was really hard. Yeah. And um, you know, you're talking about Professor Jacolino, you know how you're his student. Um, how has he, as a professor, you know, a role model, impact you as you know, competitor, student, you know? Well, you know, like I look up to Dracolino with everything, like you mentioned, you know, like not only as a professor, as an athlete, you know, but like a, as a as a man, you know, like a, I look it up, I like to look him up how he, you know, like a, he treats his family, how he did everything to support his family, you know, like uh, he's like my professor, my mentor, my friend, you know, like uh, I grew up seeing him, you know, like uh, traveling, you know, travel all over the world, teaching all, and then you know, like I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't uh, look it up for some better home model like a drug community. It's just amazing to, to grow up with him and then see all those great things. So with Professor Evan Najmi, you know, Professor Gabriel Arges, you know, uh, what's, what's the secret between you, you know, creating your students to be bringing them up, you know, from white belt you know, to all the way to black belt, you know, becoming huge world champions, you know? Uh, I believe, you know, like you need to, you need to see that the, the you know, like the athlete, the student have a real desire to, to you know, to become the best, and then uh, know how to work with the different, with the individual. You know, like uh, I work with Edwin different than I work with Gabriel. You know what I mean? Like uh, they complete different people. You know, the way that I talk to them, the way that I that I approach, like uh, the way that I uh, approach, like uh, the system to them. You know, like. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, like I never tell them what to do. You know, like I believe that I show them how it's done. You know, like I'm on the mats every day, I teach, I take care of my family, I take care of the kids and then they see like the hard work and then I still compete, still train with them at a high level. And then I, I think they just follow the path and then, uh, you know, like they follow the path as a, you know, like as a mindset, as a, you know, like train hard, they believe, you know, like a don't give up and then they have it successful. Right? I don't think there's a sweet thing. Okay, here goes. It's blank. Any advice for you know the future you know kids steps they have to take in you know, to becoming a world champion? Well, I, yeah, I think you know like first I mentioned like during the seminar you need to have the real desire. You, know? you need to think to come up to come inside you. You know like something that you you're not gonna quit in the first uh, the first hard uh, hard uh, shit that you're going through. You know like you really need to overcome a lot of things and then believe in yourself. You know I know like a train hard is part dedication, be a good person, all of this is part, you know? but you need to be real, you need to be true to yourself and then know that you really want to do that, you know, like I believe this is like the main reason that a guy do to be the best, not only on jiu-jitsu, but like a, something that you want to do off, off the mats, you know, like a, you really believe you need to work hard and then you need to be able to, you know, like a, to overcome hardships and then become like a, the best, whatever you, need to, whatever you choose to do. Obrigado, <laughs> Thank you, Good to see you. Thank you. Here with Lots of Time, World Champion, Professor Home Laval. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, you know, this GOAT's greatest of all. And yeah, subscribe, guys, turn on your notifications, and see you. See you. Oos. Oos. <laughs>
Jisoo.